In this video, we're going to walk through the new Bantam Tools milling machine software and share a few of the exciting new features it has to offer. The software ships as a basic package or as a subscription. This is important because for subscribers, our software will update each month with new tools and features. It's meant to grow with the community. You can learn more about this on our website at bantamtools.com. Let's dive in. Launching the software takes you immediately to the home screen. Here you can browse getting started projects as well as recent news from our community and review a basic walkthrough of the tab structure, which is designed to help you navigate through your project setup. Let's first click into initial setup. You'll notice that the screen is split in half. The right side contains our visual preview of the machine bed, while the left side contains our controls. Initial setup is where you'll load your file. The software supports G-code, TAP, or NC files, as well as SVG files for those looking to do 2.5D milling, and Gerber files or .brd files from Eagle for those looking to mill circuit boards. Let's go ahead and load a G-code file. Once loaded, it will appear in the preview on the right side, and then I'll need to select a tool from the drop-down menu that I'll use to complete this file. Doing so allows the software to generate a preview of your part. From initial setup, I can also install my tool and launch the automatic tool length calibration routine. We call it a tool touch-off. I'm first going to install my quarter-inch probe. You'll see why in a minute. In the material setup tab, we configure the size of our stock and its placement in the machine. We recommend using a pair of calipers for accurate measurements. Those dimensions can then be entered into the software, and again, the preview will update automatically. Moving on down, we see the fixturing menu. This tool is used to calibrate a material offset by probing the included L-bracket. If you're working with plastics, this is the tool to launch. Otherwise, we'll locate the material by opening up the Probe Material menu under Automatic Placement. Here we have two options, Automatic Stock Location for Conductive Materials and Manual Stock Location. We'll launch the Automatic, which is what you'll use 99% of the time when working with aluminum. This helpful tool simply requires that you position the probe above the front left edge and then let the machine do its thing. Once complete, the software will report back the XY location of your stock as well as the thickness. Accept these values and it automatically updates the preview and menu on the left. Okay, quick recap on setting the material location. We support three basic setups. Automatic probing for conductive materials, automatic probing of the L bracket for non-conductive materials, and then a manual or old school way of zeroing out the machine for scenarios where you might be milling plastics or wood and not using the included right angle bracket. Now let's move on to plan placement. By default, the software snaps your G-code file to the top left edge of the material location. If you configured your file this way in, say, Fusion 360, then you're ready to begin milling at this point. If, however, you want to set a specific location on your workpiece to align the G-code file to, you can use any number of our built-in routines. As a basis, we offer a single-axis conductive probing, which allows you to probe one of three axes independently. We also offer a manual placement, as well as a conductive outer rectangular corner, center point of a boss, and center point of a bore. These routines allow greater flexibility for things like machining in two or three operations or when flipping a part. In the final tab summary run job, you see a breakdown of the file, milling tools, plan location, and if there are any errors or collision warnings, those will appear here. We can now go back and load our quarter inch end mill, and we're ready to begin milling. There are a bunch of other neat tricks in the software, which we won't go into detail on now, but here are a few good ones. This demo just showcased G-code files, but you can load SVGs directly into the software and generate toolpaths without having to use a CAM program. We have a customizable tool library that supports this feature where you can tweak speeds and feeds and other parameters. Plans in the preview can be toggled on and off as needed. Our console offers a way to send G-code commands directly to the machine. There are hotkeys for things like launching the console, but also quickly changing the view in the previewer. And subscribers have access to feed rate override and spindle speed override to fine tune parameters on the fly. Be sure to check out one of our other software videos to learn more about specific features and operations. All right, happy milling.